Hey subbies and friends, this is Lady T. I'm going to show you guys my nighttime routine to get a bomb Bantu knot out. When I say bomb, I mean beautiful, original, magnificent, and bouncy. I make sure I place the Bantu knots in a way that they're not going to leave a bunch of parts in the areas that are the most problematic, particularly along the middle. So I make sure I don't have any middle parts when I'm doing my Bantu knots. This video is going to take you through what's involved in my nighttime routine to get a bomb Bantu knot out. I'm going to start by adding water lightly. Shake it off a little bit. Okay. Then I'm going to apply, I have, I've recently bought this Shea Moisture uh, Yucca and Biobop. I don't know what that is. Thickening growth milk for fine thin hair. And I'm going to apply a little bit of this on my hair. After I've already added water. Don't know what it smells like to be honest, but it smells good. It reminds me a little, it reminds me a little bit of coconut oil, the smell of it. I'm just going to take a little bit and put it on my hair. Put it mainly in the ends and do like a quick, light. I grab huge sections of my hair. I'm just going to grab a nice big section. Add some moisture to the ends and the root. And then I'm going to take more of this and place it on each section. Not a lot. So I'm working my way from the ends up. I'm going to place a two strand twist in it. Then we're going to add a band to that and move to the next section. Help the product. Okay, want to look at those ends. They're looking okay. Get the ends again. Put it on those ends, wrap it. The good thing about wearing these twist outs is you're able to kind of move more, remove more shedding here, and they allow your hair to be stretched a lot more. Now I'm gonna take a big chunk in the middle. So we got the three in the front. I usually do the first, the middle, front one, two on the side, and I make my way through the middle. This is one of my thickest areas here, and I make this into two band two knots. Well, this is going to be one band to knot, and it's a little smaller, which is okay. Now, I normally would do one band to knot, but I've noticed when I do two, I get better definition at the top of my hair. Because again, it's going to be the more defined up in the middle. Let's just move to the sides. Make this one big band to nut.
So this is why I create this circular kind of look so that when I take them out, it's easy just to fluff them. Now we have left is this part. These are gonna be two big band, two band, two knots. I'm gonna make this into two band, two knots. fingers to do it almost like if I was using a wide to comb. This area loves to tail. So I'm nice and moisturized. And I don't like to part my hair down the middle because it makes it easier to fluff. I like this because you can adjust it. Sometimes the regular bonnets will become a little, uh, loose and too stretched out this one may last just a little longer i got it from family dollar i hope you've enjoyed this video please feel free to share what you do at night if you have a quicker method or you use your wear your hair in bantu knot and bantu knot outs or twist outs and you feel like there's something better and quicker please share because i would like to know and i'm sure all the other people commenting would love to know too so thank you for watching this video